to hear the brides, especially when the bride doesn't even know really what she's looking for. So where do we want to stay budget-wise? The princess dress. We got your back there, my love. I know how about you. I'd like to see you in a princess dress as well. And getting married in five months. As soon. The only time that I will be back between now and... It's up so all the fat just seems to come around here. It's a pretty necklace. <laughs> Number seven, hypnotized. Heather Binkley is a bride that has brought along a big entourage to Kleinfeld. The look she is seeking is something with a dramatic flair. Her kryptonite is traditionality or anything that accentuates her hips. Heather might be hip conscious, but the silhouette she has chosen for herself is going to do only one thing accentuate her hips. My, you know, hip area. I cannot have a mermaid wedding dress because of what I like to call my voluptuous jerk to try that on. And my second favorite would be this fitted one with the beadwork right there. When Heather's how Heather's going to feel once she puts this silhouette on. Where do you want to be price wise? Um, 5,000 and below. Perfect. Let's go. Look in that mirror at their silhouette and to understand that they have. Consultant Jillian heads to the stock room hoping to find something that Heather might like while getting a little help on the side. Randy and Jillian pick out a few dresses for her to try on. Surprise, surprise, she ends up liking a dress that accentuates her hips. Me thinks the lady doesn't know her fashion. Amazingly, it does look good on her and her voluptuous behind has played her friend in it rather than foe. With the others also falling in love with the dress, she makes her mind up that this is the dress she's going to take home with her. Glad she conquered her insecurities because the dress looks stunning on her wedding day. Number 6. Hardworking Mama Nicole Crumpler is a jack of all trades. Not only is she a mother of quadruplets, but she is also an elementary school principal. She has finally realized that it's time to get married to her boyfriend and that's why she has come to Kleinfeld. She is looking for a fitted ball gown with a budget ceiling set at $3,000. I like to have like a ball gown, right? um, kind of a corset, fitted. very fitted. Our wedding is planned for it. Seems like we were just meant to be. So you have quadruplets? I have quadruplets. Ah! Two girls, two boys. Christiana. Who are you here with? Today I brought with me my mom. I also brought my BFFs. Monique, December 1st, 2012 in Aruba. Where are we at price-wise? Um, 2500 to about 3000 the first dress she has put on hadn't floated anyone's boat, including Nicole. But the room is feeling positively buzzed with Nicole's second wedding gown pick, with everyone admiring it in surprised pleasure. Not only does she look amazing since the dress is beyond stunning, but there's a dark cloud attached to this silver lining which is the budget. Randy and Christiane are forced to look for something that fits her budget. Dress 3 is complementing the budget, but will it touch Nicole's heart? No, it doesn't. It's the thought of the second dress which still brings shiny stars to Nicole's eyes. Who can resist Randy and Christiane getting on their knees trying to convince the merchandise director Dorothy to lower the price so the bride can have her dreams served to her on a platter? The dress goddess has spoken and Nicole's wishes have been granted. Number 5. Fear Not Today is the day when the bride Helen has to overcome her fears for wearing a dress. For the first time in 30 years, she is letting a gown slide down her body. She is joined by her best friend on this momentous occasion so she can be with her throughout the whole journey. Dress after dress has come and gone, but Helen's facial expression hasn't changed. This new entry is looking very promising and Helen's perked up considerably. Her excitement and happiness at her first sight of the little beauty is a dead giveaway. It's no surprise she and her friend have fallen head over heels in love with it. Yes. Helen and Catherine, two peas in a pod just like we are. Yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. need to say things, but you can't. When you think about wedding dresses, what shape are you kind of going towards? I do like it with size, weight between now and the I, wedding. I don't, I'm going to try and lose some, but I set myself a target every Sunday. And then it's just a vicious circle. I love my legs because they're the, probably the thinnest part of my body. It's just my Not just selfie in and cutting this bit out and somebody stand in front of me. Helen, look at It's just all of a sudden hit her in the face like a train. Oh my God, I've got to choose a dress today. Meanwhile, Carol visited the boutique with high hopes of finding her dream wedding dress. She claims that she has tried on loads of wedding dresses but none have caught her eye. She has yet to feel the way she is supposed to feel in her wedding dress. Looking at the first pick, Carol is reeling from the waves of positive emotions running through her body. She has found the dress of her dreams, which she will be wearing on her big day. Number 4. Family's Special Pick Stella is a bride who is on an adventure to find her dream dress. 
She's at Kleinfeld as her first stop with her mom, dad, and the rest of her family. Stella doesn't have a specific idea of what kind of dress she wants, but her family, on the other hand, is decisive and specific. My name is Stella Ronas. <laughs> Who is everybody? I brought my mom, my dad, my cousin Yvette, my sisters, everyone. And, but glamorous at the same time. I like to see her like a Greek goddess. Okay. To hear the brides, especially when the bride doesn't even know really what she's looking for. So where do we want to stay budget-wise? Over $650. Holy cow. I wanted something intimate. I wanted something small, but traditional. With a big amount of people attending her wedding, Jenny and Randy are going to need to show off their styling skills to provide Stella her dream dress. This Pax Picky Palette has the ingredients of becoming a big problem. It has forced Jenny's hand to bring the whole family to pick the dress itself. One dress catches everyone's eye and the next thing we know, Stella has fallen in love with the dress. Her knowing that the dress of her dreams, a beautiful full-length ball gown, is also her family's choice, has made it even more special. On the other hand, Angela has visited Kleinfeld to find THE dress for her wedding. Unlike the last family, this one doesn't have any confusion about what they want in a dress. When Angela comes back with her dress on, her boyfriend Chuck's face is a dead giveaway and is a story in itself, telling everyone that this is the dress. Because my wedding is in about a week. Angela's gay best friend slash gay husband. Oh yeah, she'll find her dress. I'll make sure of that. That's it. I'm turning my necklace right now, pumpkin. <laughs> uh, Chuck bought necklace to um, say how he felt by turning the necklace pendant. Now, Chuck, now that we found your dress, what's Angela? Yes, I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Number three, best friend's advice. Casherelle is a soon-to-be bride who has visited Curvy Bride's boutique with her sister, daughter, and best friend. She is looking for something plain and elegant, but her sister and daughter have different ideas in mind. What they want is for the princess to come to life. With a lot of different opinions and a lot of different styles to try out, Joe and Al gives Casual plenty of dresses to try on, but none of them speak to her heart. Hello, sweetie. Hello. We, oh, we got a little one in here today. How Cash are we? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> today is the day. Right, OK. What kind of thing do you think you um, want? So, I want it to be... OK. I think that she needs to look at different things. She's always picking up the same things, the plain things. I don't necessarily think that would do her uh, justice. We've got lots of different opinions here. She's in a plaid for her. She needs to walk away with a dress today. So, if we want a bit less is more... That one. What do you like about it? The simplicity? Think, yeah, but I think it would still make her... She's got to be a nan. No. Oh, my God, do you know what? Like, don't, kids, that's that's not nothing. <laughs> You're lying. I don't know. Life. With no confidence in her body to add strength to her spine, Catrell is unable to settle on a choice. Jody, the queen of body language, notices her dithering. Her gentle encouragement is exactly what this bride-to-be needs. Taking strength from her, Catrell has taken her destiny into her own hands and made her choice. Number 2. Bust Blues 22-year-old bride Caitlin has got breast implants and wants a form-fitting dress to show them off. She's with her mom, sisters, and friends to help her choose her dream wedding dress. Caitlin is bust proud and wants her Twin Peaks to be the center of attention on her wedding day. Just a little something to show off. I just got the ladies done. I went from a... What's the uh, buttons all about? This is actually my fiancé. We wanted to bring muffies. That's uh, that's not going to work because that's a size 20, uh, so... Never mind. Got to get it in two months. Got to fit it in the budget. And it's got to fit me. Big plans for her big day, but there's trouble in paradise. You see, Caitlin is struggling to find the perfect dress because none of them fit her new bust. Dress after dress is getting rejected with none good enough to encase the twins. While Girlie got them done specifically for her wedding dress, it set off a tragic chain of events as none of these beautiful dresses are fitting the beautiful bust. You see, most of the boutique's dresses are tailored to brides with a size B cup. After a couple of more tries, Caitlin finally finds something that fits her and looks stunning on her. Silhouette. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely elegant and classic and beautiful and soft and feminine. How do you I love my shape? I love the lace. I love the back. And look, you're fitting into it. I'm out. Woo! Yes. I think her boobs look awesome in this dress, and Caitlin had a radiance about her. Lynn, are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to the dress. Yay! Yay! 
Meanwhile, consultant Liz meets a 25-year-old bride with her mother, sister, and best friend. Liz is an optimist and has taken a huge risk by ordering a size smaller because she has been working out and eating healthy for her wedding. Tension is high in the changing room with the horrific prospect of the zip refusing to close. Fingers crossed Caroline puts the dress on her. It was all much ado about nothing since the dress fits her perfectly and zips up without a hitch. Number 1. Crack Dress Desires Yovana Logan is a bride that is looking for a sexy dress for her big day that specifically highlights her back and butt. Her fiancé and her friends are the only ones holding her back and wholeheartedly disagree with her. Almost the crack, but not quite the crack. She has a great back and she also has a great butt. Because you think that's a day where I'm supposed to, you know, be classy and you think that's a little trashy. Ah! <laughs> she wants to show the booty. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Booty. Booty. See dresses with low backs. But for brides that want to show, like, a lot of skin, I would... What they want is beauty and elegance. Antonella lays out a few options for Yovana to try out and she, as expected, chooses the most revealing ones. Both of her bridesmaids don't like the dresses and speak their minds. Yovana is not used to not getting her way and is nearing a meltdown. This is Yovana, okay? That is definitely Yovana. It's open, down to the crack is exactly what I asked for. Mm. Can't tell me that ain't sexy. All that elegance for crack? Mm-mm. Why you gotta make it sound like we're talking about drugs? Because it is a drug, the, the, your drug. Instead, she changes gears and declares she wants two. One that shows off her body and the other that is elegant and beautiful. Beautiful though the thought is, it is not agreeing with her budget. This prompts the groom to be to put his foot down and choose the second dress for his fiance. It's still not too late to run for the hills. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.